Hi, here tutorial on how to create a uh, plugin using Python and Cinema 4D. First I want to show you what the, the, the plugin does. You can find it of course um, here on the plugins. And when you open it, you see a link field and some selection modes. First, what it does, it uh, adds or subtracts selections. For example, when you have a look at this selection tag and this one, the result will be that this selection is added or subtracted from this one. So this is selection A, this is selection B, and the result will be A plus B or A minus B. And that will be for polygon selection, for point selections, or for edge selections. So the first thing you have to do is uh, select a polygon object, put it in the link field, Select what you want to do, add selections or subtract selections. Let us do a selection and then click go. And there you see a third, a new selection, polygon selection tag will be created with this add selection name. And you see it is a sum of A And B. We can do also do a um, subtraction. We select it again, and we say subtract selection. Again, a polygon selection, and go. And there you see a new polygon selection tag will be created with a subtract selection name, and this. Let me select this one. And here you see the result. So this is A minus B. And this is the result. A minus B. And what is A minus B? Subtracting, subtracting um, selections is a bit strange of course, so this is how I divide it. Subtract A and B is zero and result is zero. A is 1 and B is 0, then the result is 1. A is 0 and B is 1, then the result is 1. Uh, the result is 0. A and B are 1, then the result is 0. So only if A is 1 and B is 0, the result is 1. And in all other cases, the result is 0. This is selection A, A, and this is selection B. So, subtracting those selections should result in that these polygons will be selected. And indeed, those are the ones that are selected. Okay, and that's, that's the same for all other. Also for point selections, let me show you, just put it in, select point selections and go. And after A and B, a new selection, point selection tag will be created with results. Let me show you. 
this is selection A, selection B, and resulting C. Okay, I also added some uh, checks. For example, the object should be, oh, sorry, my mistake, it should be a cube. Object should be a polygon object. So press the C key, it will be an object, a polygon object. But then again, it's the object doesn't have two polygon selection tag. Because in all cases, for example, when you select polygon selection, it should have two polygon selection tags, A and B. And that's the same for uh, point selection tags and edge selection tags. Okay, so that's the use of uh, the plugin. Now the source. I use a simple notepad, notepad editor, which is free on the internet. And uh, in my case, well, that suits me very well. The structure of a plugin is very straightforward. This part is initializing and re registering the, the tool. And then you see that it refers to a function, or in this case, a class. And this class, and it's a tool data plugin. All it does is it initializes itself, and then it defines and allocates the dialog, so the user interface. The user interface is also very straightforward. Here it is. And that, um, that class calls to create layout. And as you can see, we have four rows, one, two, three, four, and two columns. And that's what we define here, two columns and four rows. Please have a look at the documentation uh, for all the details. And now the user interface itself. First of all, I have a static text with just a text in it and then the link box and the link box is this field where you can drop or drag and drop your object in and this link box is a bit of a special uh, user interface and this is the way you Divine it or add it to your user interface. It's a custom user interface with, of course, a reference, and it should do some uh, some flex and so on. And the link box I use for run to uh, yeah, get the link to the uh, polygon object. The next one is uh, what sort of boolean modes it should be, and then a combo box with two sub-selections, add selection and subtract selection, as you can hear, add selection and subtract selection. Then I have another combo box with a selection mode, so should it be a polygon selection tag and a point selection or an edge selection. So again, a static text, a combo box, and three options. Polygon selection, edge selection, and point selection. As you can see here, polygon, edge, and point selection. And then the go button, and of course the help button. 
Okay, the next one is that this um, this class is called whenever whenever something change, and in that case, this command, this function, this function is called, and then you have the ID of the button or whatever is being changed or pressed. And here I've defined all these different uh, buttons. So, if for example, we press this go button or change something, this command function is called and we can check which ID uh, was pressed or changed or whatever. So indeed, if the ID was the go button, I'll get the link to the polygon object. And first of all, I, start, I check whether there was an uh, object selected. And of course, if that object was a polygon object. And if so, I'll go to uh, the function which does it all. One of the parameters is the object itself, the boolean, the boolean type, so it should be add or subtract, and the selection mode, so polygon, point or edge selection. And that function is here. I set that the object, the boolean mode, and the selection mode. Then we need the number of, yeah, op of um, polygons, for example, in this object later on to uh, set uh, the selections. So in case it's a, it's a uh, poly mode, polygon selection mode, this is the way to get the number of polygons. In case it's point mode, this is the way to get the number of uh, points. And if it's an edge selection mode, selection, yeah, then it's more difficult. I searched uh, the internet and all the different uh, Python and Cinema 4D forms. And I think this is the way to get the number of edges. Okay, so when that, when that is done, we're going to loop all the tags. These are, for example, all the different tags. This one is the phone tag, the UV tag, and here the actually polygon tags start. So we loop them. This is the first one, we get the first tag from this object and while the tag is not run, so while the tag is found, if the tag is the tag we defined here and def uh, set here, so in case it's a uh, uh, polygon, it's a polygon selection. So in case it's a polygon selection, we check whether there are two selection tags, polygon selection tags. And we also set, so this is selection tag A, and this is selection tag B. And we also set, of we indicate uh, the last of the B tag. If there weren't um, two selection tags found, Yeah, two or more because I just checked two, so that's okay. I'll create a new tag with the correct section or selection type and the tag where it should be placed after. And in this case, it was number two, so the B tag. So it's placed after the second or the B tag, the B selection tag. Okay, and now we're going to 
add the selection if the mode is add then first of all we create um, the new uh, selection list for this new selection tag and we're going to check um, the selections for selection tag A and for selection tag B if one of them is one then the resulting uh, selection tag should also be one how will you do that for all polygons that's why we needed this polygon number if that is done um, we're going to update we're going to write back all the selections to the selection tag and this is done with this one and we print out some debug information if it is not an add mode then it should be a subtract mode and we give it the name subtract selection we also create new tag we set a selection list and we're going to do the same and in this case subtract um, it's only one of it's it's true when selection tag a is true a selection tag B is false then the resulting should be one and we set we write it back to the selection tag let me explain this once more um, the ad is very straightforward so if one if an, a polygon is selected in uh, a or B the resulting should be one two so here is one in A, one in B, in both cells. Really. Subtracting selections is a bit more yeah, difficult. It's, 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 it's a bit more strange. And how I define it is um, the resulting selection should be one only if A is one and B is zero. Of course, you can see subtracting A and B and then both have zero, it should be zero, okay? This is also very straightforward, this is also straightforward, so very clear. So only in this case, the resulting selection should be set to. Okay? Else, that was the else, um, if we didn't find two selection tag, then we write back, we write a message to uh, the uh, to the terminal. Object doesn't have two polygon selection tag, depending on uh, the selection mode, of course. So, looking at directories, here is under the plugin directory. You can see the plugin directory. Here you find the source file. This is an example uh, which you can use in Cinema. And here we can find the TIFF file. Changing your TIFF file is very easy. You just open it up in Paint. And then you can edit it in whatever way you want to. Okay. I hope this uh, was clear. I'll put the sources also on my B-Log, so you can download it, you can start using it as an, uh, a starting point. Um, and, it, and again, if you have any questions, please let me know.